hey 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 welcome back to my awesome subscribers my name is christine in this video i will be sharing five fun diys that are a part of the fourth friday challenge this challenge is hosted by our two co-hosts lisa from our gray house sarah of juju b diy uh, which i'll talk more about in a little bit here i am reusing this wooden crate from the dollar tree so i'm just sanding it off to prep the surface for painting. I then gave it two coats of this apple barrel white acrylic paint, then sanded it a little bit more. I wanted it to look as if there are three books stacked on top of each other. So I took my fine tip paint brush and just lightly brushed some of this Waverly antique wax between the spaces. I then took some ribbon and glued them on together, just as you see I'm doing here. And then I, I'm just eyeballing where I want to place the ribbon. Then I wrapped it around the crate and glued it on the inside. If you are new to my channel today or if you are coming over from the playlist, welcome and thank you for stopping by. After today, your family, so please consider subscribing. Here I was trying to decide which of these two Dollar Tree stickers that I wanted to use. So I'm gonna use this one. And I use some Waverly Black chalk paint to paint out the words, give thanks. And then pasted those on. And then took a piece of jute twine and tied a little bow right over the ribbons. Still look a little bare. So I cut down some of these maple leaf scatters and some berries and glued those above the words and so as to let it look like a book stack I cut two pieces of this foam and just push them in between those open spaces on the sides. I then cut a piece of craft stick and glued it on the inside just to make sure that they stay in place and this is done. So as I mentioned earlier, this challenge is being hosted by Lisa of Our Grey House and our second co-host is Sarah of Jujubee DIYs. And be sure to check out both those channels as well as other talented crafters on this playlist. Both links as well as the playlists are listed in my description box below. So now let's get back to crafting. I'm using this piece of scrap wood that I got from Home Depot, which I paid a couple of cents for. Here I'm sanding it down with my sanding block. Then I gave it two coats of white apple barrel acrylic paint and then dried it with my heat gun. And here I just mixed some apple barrel orange and brown paint. And that is to give me a kind of burnt orange shade, a rustic shade. And then I'm drying that again. I'm now using some Mod Podge and this one is dishwasher safe Mod Podge, which I'm using to seal. And it doesn't have to be this brand or this um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. It can be any Mod Podge or any sealant for that matter. I just use what I could put my hand on at the time. I then cut and glued on a piece of this fall ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I took some maple leaves scatter and glued those on top of the ribbon and then just glued on some decor pieces that I got from a fall pick. But I'm not done yet. Here I am taking the other sticker pack and, and selected letters to spell out the word Thanksgiving. Then evenly place them on the board. I then flipped it over and glued on a piece of jute twine for hanging. Now I was looking at it and I realized that there's a space right at the top. So I took one of these mini pumpkin, cut that in two and then glued the pumpkin on and we're done with this one. Now we're on to DIY number three. 
This is another piece of scrap wood, but this is MDF and it was already painted, so I didn't have to do that. I just sanded it down and wiped it off with a baby wipe and then selected the words, give thanks from the pack of laser cut words from the Dollar Tree. But unfortunately, I don't know what happened to the footage where I was painting or gluing those on, but this is what I had left. Now we're moving on to DIY number four. This is from the Dollar Tree, this gather sign. This is some mixed paint I had left over from my green truck DIY video. You can watch that video right here. I actually shot both videos on the same day when I mixed the paint and this is what I had left over. So here I removed the twine and add a piece of tape just to this area and then applied the green paint, dried that and then added some Mod Podge. Here I'm just showing the colors that I plan to paint with the cornucopia and the foods in. This is orange, antique wax, purple and green. And just a reminder guys, to check out the host channels and the playlist in the description box below. And now we're all done. I then place the twine back on for hanging and this is it. DIY number five, this is a reversible holiday sign. Now this is another Dollar Tree clipboard that I had used for a previous video. And I'll be using this little red truck from this window cling that I picked up at Dollar General, as well as this black truck from the Dollar Tree calendar. I gave the board two coats of some white acrylic paint and quickly dried it, of course. I then used my pencil to mark where I needed to put back the lines. And then I'm using a small paintbrush just to paint back those lines. And when that was dried, I sanded it down just a bit. And here I'm using some small paint stirs, which is from Lowe's. And this is, I'm going to use this to layer both the bottom and the top of the board. And as you can see, I cut this one too short and had to then cut another piece to fill the gap. But I did a better job with the top piece. Here I am taking the little red truck from the window cling and using some Mod Podge as adhesive because as you know, this is not glass and so it won't stick by itself. I then added the Merry Christmas and some snowflakes as well. And now to fix my little boo-boo, <laughs> here I'm just using a piece of twine just to cover where the sticks met. I then selected some pieces of Christmas pick that I had from last year. Made one of my favorite kind of bows, which is a messy bow, using ribbons from the Dollar Tree and then glue that on. And this side is done. Now for the reverse side, sorry guys, but I lost the footage of me adding the calendar piece as well as the words, give thanks. But what I did, I cut down the, the calendar, used stick glue, added a lot of it and just glued it on. And then I painted the words with the same Waverly black chalk paint. And here I'm just adding some Mod Podge to the painted section at the top. I couldn't decide what to put there, but I settled on just 
making a bow so I'm using this buffalo check ribbon and I made a small bow placed that in the middle and I also glued down a piece of jute twine across the top I'm not sure if you can see that and that was just for hanging it and we're done guys these projects diy projects have been in the oven for about a month i must say and i am so happy i was able to finally get them out so i could have them to show them to you today let me know which one of these was your favorite and if you enjoy diys on a budget and are inspired by what you see here today please consider subscribing and selecting all on that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Also to keep watching I suggest this video right here and this playlist from my channel and also don't forget to head on down to the playlist and check out the other creators and have yourself a wonderful day.